Hopefully you can look at this picture at this point and have some idea what you're looking at. Chris Sard, what do you think you're looking at? That is the overflow for the, the roof drain. Yeah, so these are roof drains. You can see a piece of PVC going through there. Some of you are going to go, well, I thought it had to be cast iron uh, because we're in a commercial building. You would be right. But in the case of the manufacturer who got these particular roof drains and this overflow roof drain product approved, that's just a little bit piece of PVC that is extended above the roof surface right here, uh, about three inches. So this is called an overflow. If this one becomes plugged up, if there's a lot of trees around, a lot of debris around, this gets plugged up with leaves because nobody goes on the roof to clean it. Like in the case of this roof, if you're very observant, you can tell that a lot of crap built up on this roof. And when you have the standard roof drain, you see this one, like we literally have the flow right into the roof drain, the water will go. If this one gets plugged up, the roof's gonna fill up with water. And hopefully when it gets to the top, and that's really about three and a half, four inches right there, it'll go to overflow at least. So this is an overflow roof drain and the code refers to this as, does anybody know what the code talks about? The whole design is a secondary roof drain system, which means there are two pipes being run in the building side by side. One is going to terminate to grade, meaning it's going to show up down below. Somebody's going to see it. Looks like a big pig's tongue hanging out the side of a building. Some of you have probably seen them. A lot of McDonald's, a lot of Wendy's, Taco Bell, all those fast food places. Usually there's one as you're driving up to the drive through hanging out the side of the building. If water's coming out of it, means the regular roof drain system is plugged up, which means there's a shitload of weight on the roof and a secondary roof drain system allows the designer who designed the building to underdesign the steel that's supporting the roof because every roof drain has a additional roof drain with it. That's why we call it a secondary roof drainage system. Let's the builder, the owner save money on the building design. So one's tying into the storm drainage system for the city or town. The other one's just dumping onto the street or a sidewalk or whatever. Does anybody know how high above the roof surface, the minimum height above the roof surface, those beehive strainers have to be right there? Four inches. Because if you take that roof drain strainer off to clean leaves or you're cleaning leaves out around it, don't ever try to stick your hand and start pulling stuff off of that roof drain or the hole with your hand when there's water on the roof because it will suck your hand and your arm right down into that hole. And if you have a big, huge roof and that's the first one you did it on, there've been plenty of cases where plumbers actually drowned on roofs. They forget about the science of roof drainage. And you gotta understand the dynamics of what you're doing. And if you make the mistake, remember, usually one mistake in the trades is gonna maim you or kill you. And unfortunately that's happened simply with roofs and water being on roofs. Where's Jason? I sent him up on the roof to clean off the roof drains an hour ago. Oh, he's already dead, lying up there in the sun. No water on the roof. I'm still down the four inch pipe. Any of you first responders know exactly what I'm talking about. There's nothing worse than looking at dead people all the time from lack of common sense, bad situational awareness, just plain stupidity, you name it. So there you go. Overflow roof drain and secondary roof drainage systems. 